Let us consider a rectangular frame A, B, C, D, in which this for this length AD can be moved towards right and left. This is movable. This can be moved towards right and left. Let us take a thin filament in the frame A, B, C, D like this. Let this be moved, this frame A, D, B moved, this length A, D, B moves, moved towards a new length A dash, D dash. Let us assume the length of A, D, B, this length B, this length B, L and this distance C, D, B, X or Y and this D, D dash B, X. And we have the since this is a thin film, there is always surface tension acting acting in the film. So if you move the frame to towards right, there will be a force. Surface tension will be in this direction. It's always perpendicular to the length of the length AD. Let's call that as sigma. But from the definition of surface tension, we have surface tension sigma. The defin from the definition of surface tension, we have it is force per unit length. Therefore, the force acting F is equal to sigma L, surface tension times the length. Clear. Now, this length is moved this with this force. The, the rod AD is moved to a new position A dash D dash. Therefore, the work done, work done, we have work done is equal to force into displacement. Force into displacement. Here the displacement is D D dash. Force into T D dash. So force we know it is sigma L times the D D dash is X. So the work done is equal to sigma l x clear now from the definition of surface energy surface energy we have surface energy is equal to work done w divided by increase in area increase in area so this is the surface energy but you know w is equal to sigma l x divided by increase in area means this area this is the increase in area and you know the length is equal to l and breadth equal to x this is equal to l this is equal to x so therefore increase in area is equal to lx that's called surface surface energy as s so cancel this lx and this lx this is equal to sigma implies the surface energy equal to surface tension. So that's the relationship between the surface energy and surface tension. Surface tension is always numerically equal to surface energy. Clear. Actually we have to take multiply by all these terms with the two because there are two surfaces but we just take the case of one film. Clear.